All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an amiodarone infusion for a patient with pulse producing ventricular tachycardia that is stable enough that we maybe can use medication before cardioverting. So first I need to figure out what my dose is. Um, I wanna give 150 milligrams of amiodarone and a drip over 10 minutes. So I'm gonna accomplish this by mixing my 150 milligrams of amiodarone into a 100 ml bag of either saline or D5, and I'm gonna run that as a drip over 10 minutes. So first I need to figure out what my drip rate is. So we're gonna use the equation dose ordered times drip factor over time. So my dose ordered because I'm mixing my medication into 100 mLs, is just going to be 100 ml is what the amount that I want to give. My drip factor, uh, we should be using a micro drip set tubing to give medication so we can have a little more control over it. So it's going to be 60 drops per ml. And then my time is going to be 10 minutes. So when I put these numbers into the equation, I get 100 times 60 over 10. We can reduce uh, the equation a little bit. So 100 times 6 divided by 1. So really I'm going to be giving 600 drops per minute. So really we're just going to run this wide open with our micro drip set tubing. And it takes about 10 minutes to go in if you have a large bore IV. If you're dealing with a smaller IV like a 22, it may take a little bit longer, like 15 minutes. And also if the patient uh, keeps moving their arm or that IV is positional, you'll want to watch that. Um, to make sure that we're getting the medication in. But really, uh, we just uh, usually put this on a micro drip set tubing and run this wide open um, to get this medication in our patient, but over to a little bit more of extended period of time uh, versus using a macro drip set tubing, which would get it in a little too fast. So supplies you'll need is your 100 ml bag, and this is open because I had used it in an example in another video. Um, you'll need a syringe to drop your medication, and you'll need your micro drip set tubing. So we can see up here, this is 60 drops per ml. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the medication into my bag. So anytime that you're putting um, more than like an ml into an uh, IV bag, you should draw out the uh, amount of D5 or saline um, that you're gonna be putting in. So if I look at my vial, I wanna give 150 milligrams, that's three mLs. So I'm actually gonna draw three mLs of fluid out of this bag. So I'm just gonna use the medication port and I'm going to go ahead and draw three mLs out. That way I'm getting the right concentration. And I just put that into the sharps container. So next I'm gonna draw up my amiodarone. So I wanna drop all three mLs in this vial. All right, so I have three mLs in my syringe. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my medication bag. And I can just roll this back and forth a little bit. You can see that it gets pretty bubbly, so I don't want to shake it because I don't want to cause a whole lot of bubbles. So I'm just going to roll it back and forth a little bit to get that medication mixed in there. And now I can go ahead and set up my micro drip set tubing. So another way I can tell that this is a micro drip set tubing is that we can see the needle coming into the drip chamber. Um, so that's only specific to that micro drip set tubing. This is going to go into the blue port. And I can go ahead and flush my line with my amiodarone. I'll have to turn it upside down here so I can flush that. 
and it does take a little bit longer because it's a micro drips of tubing for it to run all the way through the line. But from here, I'm prepared to give it to my patient and I would just run this wide open and it should take about 10 minutes to go into the patient and I'll wanna watch for the rhythm change on the cardiac monitor.